Hey guys, the Demon Air 37 here, bringing you another video. And today I will be showing you how to discharge your LiPo battery to the correct voltage for storage. So obviously, your battery is going to discharge when you use it. But um, if you're putting it in storage, which you should after you've used it, it'll either have it'll probably have too much voltage left in it, which is dangerous because the chemicals can mix over time. So roughly about my rule of thumb is about three days after you've charged it, you should probably uh, discharge it. I actually went five days without discharging mine, but it varies. It it doesn't take, it takes a little while for it to cause actual damage to your battery. So you won't have to worry about like after a week or a few weeks, maybe a few weeks. But anyway, what I'm saying is it's good to get into the habit of discharging your battery. So this process does produce a lot of heat because it's getting rid of all the voltage in your battery. So it's very handy to have like a computer fan or something. I had one, but it's not working right now. So I don't know what's up with that. And then also here, I have this uh, LiPo Guard battery um, battery bag. It's uh, just a really good thing. I like to put my charge batteries in here just in case they are dangerous. These minimize the effects, the dangerousness of the batteries. So it's just nice to have them. But anyway, you just open it up battery in or take it out. Simple. It's pretty safe in there. So here's the battery. And now I'll just show you how to discharge it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your um, obviously like I have here, plug it in, everything, uh, if you haven't checked out my last video on how to charge your LiPo battery, I would definitely recommend that, it's a very helpful video if you're looking to learn how to charge your LiPo battery correctly. But, uh, so that's everything connected, and this goes in here, again this is the Tenergy TB6B. It's a very good charger, I recommend it highly. But anyway, so what you're gonna wanna do first is you're gonna wanna select, what's this doing? Ah, you're just gonna wanna press escape until you get to LiPo battery. Right here, LiPo. There's LiPo charge, I already went over all this. What we're gonna be looking for today is storage. So, about 0.5 discharge. Yeah, as you can see, it only goes down to one, and it goes up to one. So I like to have it at about 0.5, just for easy charging, easy discharging rather. So now what you're gonna want to do is plug your leads in, like I showed in the charging video. use these camera angles, it's really hard to film with the phone. It's hard to connect wires the correct way and film. Anyway, so when you have those in, you're going to want to connect your uh, 3S battery to your 3S balance plug and you're, you're going to want to connect your uh, XT60 to the other XT60 on the octopus cable. Like so. So in these mess of cables, these are the only two things that'll be connected. Black to black, red to red, 3S to 3S, red to positive, black to negative. I always like to check my fax. It's on storage mode, 0.5 amps, uh, 3S battery. And that should do it. And I always check it many times because I don't want an exploding battery in my face, which I don't think many of you actually want. So what I'm going to do is hold enter now. And now it'll tell you your voltage. Mine is down to 11.95 uh, volts right now, and it goes pretty quickly. And then here it's going to tell you your final voltage will be 11.4. That's what we started at. And then here it tells you your cell voltages. What you're going to want that to 
is in around the ballpark of 3.85 or 3.87, somewhere in that ballpark. So basically, that is how you discharge your LiPo battery. It's going to go to the end of that, and it'll beep when it's over. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found the video useful. I know that it can be very confusing when you're starting out with a LiPo battery. Um, but I hope this helped you guys. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it was helpful. And I'll see you guys next time.